All right, I'd like to welcome my next guest on, Natalie Decker, a woman who uh, needs no introduction. Uh, thanks for coming on, Natalie. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, where are you at right now? I'm currently at my apartment in North Carolina. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, how is how is living in North Carolina from somebody who's uh, from Wisconsin? I love it. The weather is so beautiful. It does rain more than it does in Wisconsin here. Oh, really? But the storms aren't usually as bad as they are in Wisconsin, but I love it. I've been here for about a little over a year now. And I live down here with my boyfriend, and he's originally from Minnesota. So we both really love it down here. <laughs> yeah, two Midwesterners down south. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, speaking of North Carolina, last week uh, in my episode, I was kind of ranking the best barbecue styles. And um, knowing that you're from Wisconsin, I won't even bother asking about barbecue because I just don't trust your opinion. But <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite type of food? I don't know. I'd probably say watermelon. <laughs> what? Is that favorite. even a type of food? <laughs> the past, like two weeks. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll count it. I mean, that's kind of a lame answer, especially it from changes, Wisconsin. It, it changes weekly, I would say, okay. or maybe daily. All right, that, that's but right fair. now I'm eating watermelon. <laughs> I was hoping you would say something like cheese curds or something very Wisconsin. Oh, I love cheese. Well, that's a given. I'm from Wisconsin, right. so. <laughs> I, I want you to live up to the stereotype, I guess, in my head. <laughs> uh, yeah, and for those who may not know, you grew up playing uh, hockey, and your family complete, uh, competed in and owned a track for competitive snowmobiling. That's correct, right? Yes, that okay. is correct. Uh, do you still like do any of those two things? you have time with uh, your busy schedule with racing? I don't remember the last time I legitly played hockey. I went, like ice skating with a hockey stick and a hockey puck but we didn't like actually play a game or three on three or anything um that was just like last winter but whenever I have time in the off season in the winter I try to go home and I love to go snowmobiling um, I'm from Wisconsin so I like going riding on the trails I don't race snowmobiles I I wasn't at the race um the snowmobile races this past year but my dad recently sold it, so it was kind of harder for me to make it out there. I, I like think my dad just made it out there. But it was really fun growing up and being able to go and to my dad's racetrack and be a part of it. It made me learn a lot about the racing business, even though it was different from NASCAR and anything I do now. But it's still very similar on the business side, which was really cool. Did you ever consider like getting into competitive snowmobiling or were you always just kind of, I know at a young age you started uh, karting, but were you just always kind of like, no, nah, I want to go like race cars instead? So there's, there's actually a really funny story about it. When I was four, my dad bought me a snowmobile and um, some racing like gear and everything. And he, it, he won the world championship, his racetrack. If you win there, you're a world champion. Right. So they were like, they were all like hyped up, like you know, Chuck Daughter's Chuck Decker's daughter is gonna be racing, and I practiced every day after school. And they're they're really slow, you know, you're only in four, so they don't go that fast. So all you have to do is hold it wide open. <laughs> okay. And the start of the race, there was about like 20 other sleds, and I think that freaked me out or something, because I only went about 10 feet, and I told my dad I wanted to quit. <laughs> that was my snowmobiling career. Man, um, if there's a video I of that, we need to see it someday. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I have a picture. I I have a picture of my dad and I. I still got a trophy for trying to participate in the race, but that's great. Yeah. There's probably a video somewhere. Yeah, some VHS I'm sure tape. My, I'm pretty sure when my like dad walked back into his office, my grandma was like, "What was that like? A thousand dollars per foot? Like she didn't even race, <laughs> and he was all mad." Oh man. Well, I think you lived up to uh, the hype for your dad at least. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'm glad I, I'm glad I started liking NASCAR and stock car racing. <laughs> right, definitely, especially after that incident, he was like, "Oh God, yeah. who did I just race?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, um, yeah, you're currently driving in a lot of series. Uh, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't you competing in trucks, ARCA, K and N, and Trans Am? Yeah, so I'm doing five Trans Am races. Um, I'm doing a lot of truck races. I don't even know how many. And I'm not doing the full season. Right. Um, and then I'm also 
doing ARCA and k and but I'm not doing any more races this year. I did them all at the beginning of the year. Okay. Okay, so I guess with all the those different types, what's your favorite thing to race? Like, what's your favorite race car? Right now, it's definitely the truck series. Yeah. Um, just, like, what I'm focusing on, so it's kind of my favorite right now. But I do really love the Trans Am series. It's a wonderful series, and the team I'm with, um, he's a friend of my dad's who also raced snowmobiles back in the day. Nice. And they're just really, he's like almost my North Carolina dad. He also <laughs> lives here with his wife and, um, it's really cool. Um, I'm really close with them. So that makes it super fun. Yeah. I was going to ask you about that. That seems like a really cool transition actually. Um, so you're enjoying driving those cars. I know it's probably quite a bit different, right? Oh, they're so different. And road racing is just completely different. Um, I like, you can't even really compare the two, Mm. but it's a fast car. So it's fun. It's really fast. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, some, something a lot of people have, um, been bringing up. Well, also, you know what, Uh, we're talking about race cars last episode. Actually, I was talking about the W series and I know that you made it all the way into, what was it? The final 28 drivers during, um, the tryouts. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, I was just wondering, like, what was your experience like with open wheel cars? It was so different. I think I didn't expect it to be how it was. Um, so when I went there, like, my first couple, like, laps out, like, a rock hit my helmet. And I was just oh. never used to that. I was like, what? Yeah. But it was just so different. And there's, there's just so much downforce involved with those cars. And I just wasn't very knowledgeable about them but it was fun i don't know if i would want to be an open wheel racer but it would be fun to do some races every now and then just because they were so cool and it was so different well not to mention all the pictures you got to take in spain right yeah that that was (laughs) awesome too (laughs) yeah uh, i got my wife into racing and then when she found your instagram she was like oh now i really like racing so (laughs) she's a big fan of your instagram she would kill me if i didn't bring that up yeah (laughs) um yeah i guess something that a lot of people have been bringing up this year also is the like the importance of artificial grass and installing that at every nascar race and i figured after your unfortunate wreck in kansas you might have something to say about that topic because like realistically watching that video it looks like with artificial grass you probably would have been fine um right don't do you have anything to say about artificial grass yeah i I definitely would have been fine if it was like it was here in charlotte um, but it was, it just sucked, you know, it was just a racing thing and I got the air taken off of me, but I mean, it would be great to have all the tracks have artificial grass, but I know how expensive that stuff is yeah. and <laughs> I can see why they don't all have it. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, I'm sure. But it would be really nice. Um, I've been in a few wrecks and that was actually probably the one that hurt the most. It oh. didn't look like it hurt, but just the way like I hit the grass, I didn't expect it at all to feel like that. Um, but yeah, I think it would be pretty cool. Or even if they just made it all pavement and then painted over it, <laughs> even that just would be nice. Green. <laughs> like, look yeah. like nice grass. Yeah. Like grass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's, that's actually really interesting to hear that. Uh, That'd be those super grass wrecks. Expensive artificial grass (laughs) (laughs) yeah it's genius actually i think i think you should own the racetrack not your dad that's what should have happened yeah i wish that'd be awesome (laughs) (laughs) all right um last question because i know you know you got to get going we don't have much time but very very important question one that i'm sure all the listeners uh really tuned in just to hear this question um i know you're a big cat person so at the end of the day, are you team dog or team cat? And you can only choose one. I would have to pick dog, but I, oh. I do have a cat. You have, yeah, like, you have a few I cats, right? I have a dog, I have a cat, but I'd rather, I think I, I would pick team dog. Oh, okay. My cat, my cat doesn't like to go for walks right. or like right. play, right. catch or treats. <laughs> like your cat likes you only when it wants to like you kind of yeah. thing? Yeah, yeah. She's really sweet. She's deaf, so that's why I think I like her. Uh, she likes race cars because she can't hear them. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I'd have to pick dogs. Okay, I, I think I think that was hair. the popular. Yeah, good pick. I think the audience will like to hear that. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting right next to my dog right now. She's sleeping while we're talking. Everybody loves dogs. 
That's so true. But thank you so much for coming on, Natalie. And um, I'll, I'll definitely be cheering for you now that you've come on the podcast. And thank I know my you. wife already does, so you have two fans. Oh, yay. Well, tell her I say hi. <laughs> I will. Don't worry. She'll listen to this. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Natalie. Yeah, thank you. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.